Welcome back, my duelist friends. Casual duelist here. It's Monday. Let's start this week off right. And uh, to do so, it's come to my attention that another one of our previous decks has been requested for an update. And again, I want to do this real quick before we do get a ban list. Um, at the moment of me filming this, uh, there is no update yet. Uh, we all know it's coming. It, it generally comes a few uh, weeks after a new list. Um, after this video, I'm going to be taking requests still, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to go gra go ahead and grab a couple note cards and I'm going to write them down because, like, seriously, guys, I have yet to touch some of these new skills yet. Um, and I want to get all that made before I went through the whole update process, but it's fine. It's a, it's a hundred percent wonderful. I love that you guys, uh, you guys feel easy enough to just ask for something and then like, I can just go ahead and make it. That, that feels good. Um, so let's just get on with the deck. Today's deck is going to be the zombie master tech build that I built. I don't even remember when it's been a, it's been a ban list or so. Um, this activates when you flip the skill, or you, sorry, you flip the skill when you decide to activate it. Uh, activate this during your main phase. Once per duel, you can choose one level four or lower zombie monster that you control, and it will gain the following ability while face up on the field. And it's essentially the effect of Zombie Master, which is why he's shown in the artwork here. Uh, once per turn, you can send one monster card from your hand to the graveyard. Target one level four or lower zombie in either graveyard. Special summon said target. This monster must be faced up on the field to activate and resolve this effect. Um, so again, this is this is like an effect that's really easy for your opponent to negate, so it's kind of techy. Um, the rest of the deck just plays as a good tech zombie. Um, that said, going into this, uh, this should be 20 cards. We'll count it up as we go. Um, first monster card. I'm adding two copies of Card Trooper. Um, again, seeing as we can reverse tutor with the zombies, this is not a bad idea. Uh, milling is never a bad idea. Um, this guy gets to variable strength. He can mill up to th uh, the top three cards of your deck, your choice, once per turn. If he does so, he gains 500 attack per card until the end phase uh, of the current turn. And when this card that I control is destroyed, sent to my graveyard, I'll get to draw a card. So you could set it and forget it, let him pound through this monster card. You just get to draw one. Or we can proactively go ahead, uh, summon, activate effect, mill three. Um, bring somebody back, utilize the effect of Zombie Master on them, to then go ahead and discard another card to get another card back and fill up the beginning board of a speed duel table, um, which is good. Next up, we're going to be using three copies of the Goblin Zombie. And again, it's been a minute since we used this guy. Uh, again, four-star zombie, so he's a candidate for the Zombie Master. Uh, if this card inflicts battle damage to the opponent, send top card from deck to discard. If card is sent from field to grave, add one zombie with 1,200 or less defense from deck to hand. Um, just a quick glance real quick. That is only going to get you into the next card. But you can go ahead and you can grab other copies of the, the Goblin Zombie. Um, we're going to be playing the Heavy Knight of Flame again. And uh, I know I talked some stuff about Geminis, and that's like a whole Yugi rant unto itself. Um... But this is a really cool Gemini. Uh, treated as a normal monster while face up on field or in grave. A uh, normal monster can gain its effect by having a normal summon once it's already on the field. Effect once it has it. At the start of the damage step, if this card attacked a special summon monster, you may banish it. Since it is, it is at the start of the damage step. What we see is something very much like how Cataster works. Cataster, uh, the Ally of Justice Synchro Monster... Uh, destroys any monster that is like non-dark attribute uh, that it battles with at the start of the damage step. So what this does is it uh, it allows us to do the pinpoint removal, number one. Two, we don't lose the Heavy Knight of Flame even if we're attacking into something that's much larger than it. Um, because it is at the start of the damage step, the attacks haven't actually been traded yet. And then um, it does not, like the third point here is like it will not kick off a battle replay. Because the damage step has been entered. Um, so the, the amount of monsters changing does not matter at this point. Um, so that's all good. And I think last time I played this, I played uh, Vampire's Curse. Today I'm playing the Vampire Lord. Um, and again, this just comes down to like, you know, Saku, Widespread. These are good cards. These are cards that people are playing. Um, this guy benefits more from it. 
Uh, so if card inflicts battle damage to opponent, declare card type, monster spell trap. They must send one of same type from deck to discard. Also, once per turn during your next standby phase after this, card in your possession was destroyed and sent to the graveyard by an opponent's card effect. Special summon this card back. So we do have sort of an undying-ish boss monster. Um, so real quick, that is going to be 10 cards because uh, it's 3-3, three, 2-2. Three, two and two. So that's already first half. Let's get into the spell traps. Uh, first up, two copies Book of Life. Uh, this is important because of the card trooper plays. Um, and then also mid to late game anyway. Uh, what we can do is target a zombie that's in our own graveyard and a monster that's in our opponent's graveyard. And that's important. There has to be a monster in the opponent's graveyard. Um, special summon the first target while banishing the second. Um, so again, this helps us with card trooper. You know, maybe we went second. Maybe they did a fusion or something. Um, this is good. We can get, we can do the card troop. This could generate into anybody, including a vampire lord at that point. Or again, mid late game. Uh, you know, Heavy Knights in discard, we can go ahead, we can special summon it back, then do the normal summon to go ahead and get rid of the special summon card. Um, I'm also using a single Book of Life, in, or sorry, Book of Moon in the main deck, for obvious reasons. Uh, tapped into the two ofs, this way we get those two foolish burials. If the opponent definitely did some, did some stuff with fusion, this is a great way for us to get into the Heavy Knight real quick with the Books of Life. Um, next up, three copies MST. Obvious reasons. We want to get rid of the back row. And then three Sakuretsu to round this out. The three Sakuretsu, uh, again, just making sure that something that would be an unfavorable matchup just becomes we live through it anyway because there is a lower power ceiling in this deck. Um, and just to be real quick, this was a 21 card deck then because that's five, that's six, plus the 10 up top. So. Just real quick, guys, go ahead, screenshot or pause, make notes, and I'll be back with side plus extra in just a second. All right, and we're back. So starting off the side deck, I thought we'd get a little tacky because, again, one of my favorite plays here is going to be the Heavy Knight of Flame. Um, I want to kind of lean into that. So two copies, Dahlgren, the Mad Flame. Uh, again, it's a special summon card. Yeah, we can just off it, and then we can go ahead and we can take it off anyway. Um, so maybe your opponent normal summon into something big. Um, this is a good way to still lean into this effect and do stuff. Um, there's more than one reason to play this. Just play it. Next up, my other two copies, Book of Moon. Again, if we're going to be putting those extra Dahlgrens around the deck, you got to rem remember it's got the 1,200 defense points. Uh, having the 1,200 means that this is going to be a little bit easier to negate and destroy out if we just go ahead and simply increase the amount of Book of Moon that we're yields. You, we, mm. English, not supposed to be the most difficult language. Using, utilize, uh, either one of those words, if I could just say them separately. And then two copies, Wake of the Dragon. Again, this gets banished or destroyed while it's set on your side of the field, ends up in the graveyard or the uh, banish pile. You can summon anything out of your main deck as a special summon or out of your extra deck since you can play out of your extra deck. The big six. Again, I just make the smartest choice here. Um, right now, these six are the most technical. Um, and again, you kind of see Cyberblader moving in and out with uh, like Rio Senshi and sometimes uh, Blue Eyes for the Master of Oz just based on stats. So you guys do what you do. Uh, if you like this, like, comment, sub. If you didn't, I'll try to do better for you next time. Um, either way, just do me one favor. Go out and have a wonderful day. It's a new week. Uh, we got a new deck to add to our uh, box challenge, our um, draft cube. So we will go ahead and we will introduce that deck. And, of course, we're going to do a three times build for it, too, this week. Um, so that will be Wednesday and Friday. So until then, guys, have a good one. Hope to see you next time. Later.